A solution contains 1 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per liter silver ions and 2 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per liter lead ions. When chloride is added to the solution, both silver chloride with a solubility product constant of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10 and lead chloride with a solubility product constant of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 can precipitate. What concentration of chloride is necessary to begin the precipitation of each salt? and which salt precipitates first. Well, let's look at the equilibrium of silver chloride. So in aqueous solution, solid silver chloride will react to make silver ions and chloride ions. And the equilibrium constant, Ksp, associated with this is just the product of the concentration of silver ions and the concentration of chloride ions. Now, if the product of the concentration of these two ions exceeds the equilibrium constant, we will have precipitation occur. We already know what that equilibrium constant is, and we also know the concentration of silver ions in solution. So we can determine how much chloride is needed to form a precipitate. So let's put chloride on the left-hand side of the equation. So we get uh, this formula here that chloride is equal to Ksp over Ag plus. We can write down the appropriate numbers. So the solubility product constant was given as 1.8 times 10 to the minus 10. And we were told that the solution contains 1 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per liter silver. So we do that division and we get a concentration for chloride ions of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per liter. So if chloride concentration exceeds 1.8 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per liter, we will have precipitation. So we can do now the same thing for lead chloride. PbCl2 solid will react in water to make lead 2 plus plus 2 Cl minus. Our expression for our solubility product constant is the concentration of lead 2 plus times the concentration of chloride ions squared. Now we can do the exact same thing. We can isolate uh, chloride on the left hand side of the equation. So concentration of chloride is equal to the square root now, and I'll write that down in a second, of Ksp over Pb2 plus because we had chloride squared. So now we can fill in some numbers. The solubility product constant was given as being 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5, and the concentration of lead in solution was 2.0 times 10 to the minus 2. So we calculate that and then take the square root, and the concentration of chloride that we get is 2.9 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per liter. So that means that we need at least 1.8 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per liter chloride to start a precipitation of silver chloride, and we need 2.9 times 10 to the minus 2 moles per liter to cause lead chloride to precipitate. So we can say that silver chloride will precipitate first because we need a much lower concentration of chloride to form silver chloride precipitate.